Do you think space is silent? Well, it's not. In this video, I'll let you hear the sounds of the largest objects in the universe. They are real sounds captured by NASA and other space agencies, and trust me, they only get more terrifying as we go on. Let's begin. When galaxies collide, it's not like two cars smashing together. Galaxies are made mostly of empty space, so their stars usually pass by each other without direct hits. But the gravity of each galaxy pulls and twists the other, stretching them into wild shapes. Whole regions can light up with new stars as gas clouds crash and compress, triggering massive star formation. A famous example is the Antennae galaxies, two spirals locked in a slow-motion dance about 45 million light years away. They've been colliding for hundreds of millions of years, and the process will keep going until they merge into one larger galaxy. In about 4 billion years, our own Milky Way will collide with the Andromeda Galaxy, creating a new galaxy sometimes called Milkamita. What does it sound like? In reality, space is silent to us, but scientists at NASA have turned data from colliding galaxies into sound. They map light wavelengths and positions of stars to different audio tones. Galaxy collisions often produce long, deep rumbles that slowly change pitch as the galaxies merge. Brighter areas, you know where stars form, are turned into higher notes that sparkle over the deep background tones. These sounds are more than just fun to hear. They help scientists understand where new stars are forming and how matter moves during a collision. It's like turning a giant space photo into music you can explore with your ears. I want to pause here for a second to tell you that I recently made a poll in the community tab of this channel to ask the question, what is the best way to listen to these sounds? Over 200 people voted in total darkness. You can try it out by pausing the video, turning off the lights, and continuing to watch this video all the way to the end. I think this will be an amazing experience for you. Black holes are the most extreme objects in the universe. When two of them get close, they don't bump into each other. They spiral together, twisting space and time itself. As they get closer, they move faster until they finally merge into a single, bigger black hole. This process sends out ripples in space-time called gravitational waves. In 2015, scientists at LIGO detected these waves for the first time from a black hole merger billions of light years away. The signal was incredibly short, lasting just a fraction of a second. What does it sound like. Scientists took that signal and turned it into audio, producing the now famous chirp. It starts at a low pitch and quickly rises before cutting off the moment the black holes become one. It's a tiny sound, representing an unimaginable release of energy, more than the light from all the stars in the visible universe for that instant. Hearing it is a reminder that even invisible events in deep space can send out waves we can detect and translate into sound. By the way, you won't believe what we found at the end of the universe. Keep watching to hear it for yourself. But first, a quasar is a galaxy with a supermassive black hole at its center that's actively feeding on gas and dust. As the black hole consumes material, it releases huge amounts of energy, making the galaxy's center shine brighter than anything else in the universe. When two galaxies collide and at least one has an active quasar, things get even more intense. The collision can send streams of gas directly toward the black hole, feeding it and making the quasar even more powerful. This can blow massive jets of energy thousands of light years into space, sometimes stripping gas away from the other galaxy. What does it sound like? Using data from radio telescopes, scientists convert the signals from these jets into audio. The result is a steady, high-pitched hiss mixed with bursts and pulses. The hiss represents constant energy output, while the bursts are sudden changes in the jet's power. It's like hearing the roar of a cosmic blowtorch. Not just light and heat, but raw energy traveling across space. Asteroids and comets are leftovers from the early days of the solar system. Most spend their lives far from Earth, but sometimes their paths cross with ours, and that can be catastrophic. 65 million years ago, a massive asteroid hit near what is now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, ending the reign of the dinosaurs. The explosion released more energy than billions of nuclear bombs, triggering wildfires, tsunamis, and a global winter. More recently, in 2013, the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded over Russia. It never even reached the ground. The shockwave shattered 
windows and injured over a thousand people. Scientists recorded the sound of that event, a sharp, powerful boom, followed by a low rumble as the shockwave rolled across the landscape. What does it sound like in space? NASA has taken seismic data from impacts on the moon and Mars and converted them into audio. Large impacts produce deep, echoing thuds, while smaller ones make quick, percussive pops. It's like the solar system has its own drum set, with each planet and moon playing a slightly different tone depending on its size and atmosphere. These sounds help scientists understand the size and speed of space rocks and give us a real sense of the power they carry. Space isn't just full of natural objects. We've been adding our own. Satellites, old rocket stages, and other debris orbit Earth at incredible speeds. When they collide, the impact can be devastating, creating thousands of smaller pieces that can cause even more damage. A well-known example is the 2009 collision between an active U.S. satellite and an old Russian one. The crash produced more than 2,000 trackable pieces of debris. What does it sound like? In space, we can't hear the collision directly, but radar and onboard instruments pick up signals signals when debris strikes spacecraft. These impacts are often converted into audio that sounds like metallic clinks or quick pings. If many pieces hit in a short time, it becomes a rapid-fire tapping sound. While the sounds are not from the impact itself traveling through space, they're still real data that tell us when and how objects are being struck. It's a reminder that even in the vastness of space, small collisions can cause big problems, and especially for astronauts in future missions. <laughs> This one was weirder than the last one, but the final one is absolutely terrifying. You don't want to miss it. When galaxies collide, clouds of gas smash together and compress. This creates the perfect conditions for stars to form. In galaxy mergers like the Antennae galaxies, we can see bright clusters of new stars lighting up the collision zones. Sound connection. Scientists turn the brightness of these regions into higher pitched tones. The brighter the area, the higher and sharper the sound. It's like a burst of chimes layered over the deep rumble of the galaxy's bulk motion. A way to hear where the universe is building new suns. <laughs> Collisions don't just shuffle stars around, but they send shockwaves through the gas and dust in space. These shockwaves heat up the gas, changing its motion and density. In galaxy clusters, this can stretch for hundreds of thousands of light years. Sound connection, radio data from shocked gas is converted into low, pulsing tones like a slow heartbeat. Faster moving gas layers add higher hums on top. Listening to this audio helps scientists trace how energy spreads after a massive cosmic event. Black hole mergers are one of the few events where we can directly detect space-time being warped. Gravitational wave detectors measure incredibly tiny changes, smaller than the width of a proton, as these waves pass through Earth. Sound connection. When these signals are sped up into human hearing range, we get the classic chirp. The pitch rises as the black holes spiral closer, then stops sharply at the moment of merger. It's simple but powerful, like hearing the final note of an invisible orchestra. An asteroid impact doesn't just leave a crater, it can change a planet's entire environment. Dust and debris can block sunlight, cooling the planet, or even alter its atmosphere permanently. Sound connection, seismic readings from impacts, such as those recorded by NASA's InSight lander on Mars, have been turned into deep thuds and rolling echoes. The size of the impact determines how long the after sound lasts. Small hits fade quickly, while large ones echo on. Three point five space infrastructure risk. One hundred words. The growing amount of human-made debris in orbit raises the risk of chain reaction collisions, known as the Kessler syndrome. If this happened, it could make certain orbits unusable for decades. Sound connection. Radar pings tracking debris are sometimes turned into beeps, each one marking an object's position. In a debris field, these beeps can come so fast they sound like static. It's a practical audio tool for monitoring objects that can't be seen by eye. In about 4 billion years, our galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy. Stars will be pulled into new paths, and the two galaxies will eventually merge into one giant elliptical galaxy. Despite the scale, individual stars are unlikely to hit each other, but the night sky will look completely different. Sound connection. Scientists imagine this as a very slow, deep hum that changes over time. It's made by mapping the gradual shift in star positions to low audio tones, giving a sense of the slow motion nature of the collision.
If a powerful quasar were somehow close to our solar system, its radiation could strip away our atmosphere and boil Earth's oceans. The light would be blinding, and survival would be impossible. Sound connection, data from real quasars turned into audio produce a constant roaring hiss, like a massive engine running nonstop. That sound represents the raw power of energy being blasted across space. If a large asteroid were heading toward Earth, we might try to change its course using explosives or high-speed impactors. Missions like NASA's DART have tested this idea. Sound connection, impact data from DART, was turned into a sharp crack, followed by the softer sound of debris scattering. In a real emergency, this could be the sound of saving the planet. Seeing space collisions is breathtaking, but adding sound makes them unforgettable. NASA, ESA, and other research groups create detailed simulations and combine them with real telescope images. They then use sonification to turn the light, motion, and energy into sound. This means you can see a galaxy collision unfold and hear its deep rumbles, or watch an asteroid hit a planet while hearing its sharp impact crack. It's a way to experience space with two senses at once, making these distant events feel closer and more real than ever before. Let me and the community know what you think in the comments below.